Let's, let's give Job another round of applause. Man. That, that's good. Guys, thank you so much today. Um, wow. Simple signs, guys. The future is wow. We are incredibly excited to have you all here today. Um, last year, if you guys remember, I talked a little bit about revenue, all right? And I'm going to continue on that focus today. We're going to talk about revenue again and the use of technology to increase your revenue, okay? So if you guys can think back to last year, we focused on increasing our revenue to take care of our control books, to control our control books. So, you know, we're, we're talking about if labor is high, instead of pulling out your schedule and cutting out shifts, um, focus on selling more pizza to drive that, that percentage down. And the same with food costs. I mean, we all know that food costs comes from portion control, following the talking charts, things along those lines. But we're all humans, right? We make mistakes from time to time. You're gonna have an occasional pizza that comes out of the oven that has onions on it and it wasn't supposed to. If you guys focus on increasing your revenue, that those cushions will be there and you can afford to make a few, uh, you can afford those mistakes a little bit better. So let's talk today about how we can use technology to increase our revenue all from our smartphone or mobile device. In this case, we're using an iPad. All right, so Brady's here to assist me. I'm gonna walk you through um, a few things that I do on a daily basis to increase my sales. Uh, first, you have to know where you're at, okay? And that's where Zoico's comes in handy, guys. Zoico's has a ton of benefits, and one of the many benefits that it has is real-time reporting from a mobile app. So we, we've got it pulled up here. Uh, this is the Zoico's app. Now remember, I've got all the corporate stores, so I have Simple Simon's and Cheesy's Pizza. Um, in this instance, we're going to click, select on Simple Simon's Pizza. And then, of course, I have multiple locations here with Simple Simon's. So we're clicking on the Glenpool uh, location. Now, if you just have one store there, just your store pickup, you won't have to select more, uh, which location you want to look at. If you've got multiple, all your stores will show up. Okay? Today, we're going to focus on the comps down at the bottom. And as you can see, you get a variety of different information just from your phone. Okay? You can look at your sales for the day. Now, we're not open yet, so we don't have any, uh, anything to report for today. But you can look at your sales, the number of transactions you've done, average ticket, guys. Average ticket is something that I push all the time in the corporate stores. Because you think about it, you know, just getting a little bit more from your current customers, upselling that extra bread, upselling a dip in sauce, things like that, that will add a lot of extra revenue into your store by increasing that average ticket. All right, you can look at big tickets, $25 or more, uh, big tickets of $50 or more, labor percentage, let you know if you're a little bit um, high on your labor, you can see it right there from your phone. Um, then online orders, guys. You heard uh, Joppa say it, millennials want to order online. You can track your online sales from your mobile app from Zoico's, okay? Then Brady, click up on the, uh, the right there, that icon up there. You can also see it on a variety of different ranges. Okay? You can see your today's sales, you can see your yesterday's information, week to date, month to date, year to date, all that information right there, guys. So for those of you that are already on Zoico's, make sure that you utilize this app. All right? If you're not on Zoico's, get signed up today, guys, because it is a, a, a great feature. And, and this is just one of them, guys. There's so many, so much more things that comes along with Zoico's. Okay? So say you're taking a look at your sales and you're noticing, hey, I need to boost some sales up. I need to get some more uh, pizza sales, all right? That's when you switch over to Mobivity, okay? Mobivity is our text club provider. Um, we have the, uh, the, the link to the marketing platform saved to our, our home screen. Um, while he's getting us logged in, guys, remember, text Calizone, if you haven't done so already, Calizone, that's C-A-L-I-Z-O-N-E to 411247, all right? As I'm saying that, I just got a message from, from Mobility. We are sending corporate messages out through that, that campaign, all right? So we're sending messages out for the show today. Uh, we'll send future communication from the corporate office through this campaign here. So please make sure you subscribe to it if you haven't done so already, okay? So now that we're logged into the account, first thing you see, you got some data there, all right? Shows you how many uh, messages that, that we've sent out recently. And then it also shows you that the next report there, it's a line graph of how many subscribers we have, guys. And uh, that, that's the name of the game when it comes to mobility and text campaigns. So you gotta have those subscribers there. Um, so, you know, multiple things that go into that. You gotta get your people talking about it, okay? So what we do in the corporate stores is we set goals for all of our, our employees on staff, right? Every single shift they work, they've gotta get at least one person signed up on the text club, 
okay? Uh, there's no point in doing a video if you're not gonna get people to subscribe, subscribe to it. So hold your people accountable to get uh, your customers signed up on it. And then on the flip side, you know, you can't offer it to a customer unless you give them an incentive, all right? You can't just say, hey, um, you know, sign up for this text program, you're gonna get some promotions sometime. No, you gotta give them something right now. What we do in the corporate stores, we offer them a free two liter. Uh, Dustin, you do a dollar off on, on sales, don't you? Uh, yeah, so I mean, give them something, give them something right there to reward them for signing up on your text program. And guys, you know, it, it's, it's a great business, okay? Um, there's a lot more reports in there. Um, you can see there's a reports tab. Uh, Elaine at the, uh, the mobility booth, she can go over that in more detail with you. Get you signed up today if you want to get on this program. Um, but for the sake of time today, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually send out a text, okay? So, ready to go ahead and go over to the send option there. First thing that pops up is all the campaigns that I have through, uh, for the corporate stores. Now, the cool thing about this is uh, um, you can select just one particular store if you want to send a message out just for, you know, let's say uh, uh, Glimpel Cheese is there. We could select just Glimpel Cheese and send a message out, or we could select all of them and send the same message out to any campaign that you have. Okay, so once again, if you're just a, 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 if you just have one location, you'll just see one store there. But if you're a multi-unit operator, you'll have all your stores listed there. Okay, so we're going to send a message today. We're actually going to send it to you guys, everybody that signed up to the Galzone uh, uh, campaign. And what we've done is we've got the message screen here. Now, if you notice down there, you have 134 uh, characters to get your message across. Okay, now a few things to remember in this 134 characters is you've got to get your, uh, you've got to identify yourself. All right, there's a lot of people that use, or a lot of places that use a text campaign. So if you send out this awesome special and don't let anybody know that you're from Simple Simons or Cheesy's Pizza, it's not gonna do you a lot of good. So make sure you identify yourself in there and you gotta make sure that you let them know how to contact you, okay? So they can contact you if it's an online special, you can put your link to online ordering in there. If you want them to call you to get the special, put your phone number in there. Either way, when you put a link in there for, for online ordering or your phone number, when the customer receives the message, it's going to be hyperlinked. So that way they can automatically get a hold of you directly from that message. And we'll see what a message looks like here a little later. Um, so what we've done is we've already uh, got a message ready to go today that we're going to send out. And I do that quite a bit. I mean, guys, when you're sending out these messages, there's no reason to recreate the will every single time you're sending the message. Um, have a few of them ready to go, so it's just as simple as copy and paste. You, you copy it, put it over into Mobility, and then you can send it out to your people. Okay? The next screen here is when you get an opportunity to schedule it. Now, if you're looking at yourselves through Zoico's and you say, hey, I need some, I need some sales right now, you can send it out immediately. Uh, there's about a five minute delay or so for security, uh, uh, for a, a mess up purposes. I mean, if you mess up an order or a, a, a text and you need to fix it, you've got about five minutes there before it goes out to your, to your people. Um, but what I, what I like to do mostly with this screen is get them all scheduled. Now, um, I normally spend like late Sunday evenings, early Monday morning, and I get all my texts done for all my stores in about 15, 20 minutes or so. All right, so it doesn't take me a lot of time at all. I sit down, I look at the trends from the reporting that I got through Zoico's, I see where my slower times are, and I get some text queued up for those particular times, so that way I, I, get, I bump up a business during my slower times. So you can see Brady, you know, say Tuesdays are typically a slower day for us, Brady's scheduling a day out, uh, a text message to go out on that particular day, and what will happen is, you know, after we get it scheduled, it's done. It'll automatically hit to our customers at whatever time we'd like. On the next page here is where you have an opportunity to link it to social media. And that's one of the other great benefits of mobility here is that um, all you have to do is click. I mean, if you look, we have 97 people that we're sending it out to right now. Once you click on the Facebook, it automatically bumps up to 433. Um, so you're not only you sending this out to all your Text Club subscribers, but all the people that like you on Facebook and on Twitter as well, um, just from a couple of pit clicks of a button. Now, when we're talking about social media, remember, you know, the, the name of the game of social media is all about activity, all right? So, you know, this is really important. Every time you send out a special to Mobivity, click it to that. I mean, why not? You know, you're just sharing your message more. But when you're on your Facebook page or your Twitter page, add more stuff than just specials, all right? Put some community involvement stuff on there. If you have a parade that's going on in town, snap some pictures of it, put it on Facebook, and say, hey, you know, great parade today in, the, in Oilton, Oklahoma. All right, um, things like that will get you more activity on Facebook, and that will get more people sharing their stories about Simple Simon's Pizza. All right. Now that we've got it linked here, it gives us an opportunity to review. 
Here you want to scour through the message, make sure that you got everything correct, uh, make sure your URL is correct. Now in this case, to save some space, um, I converted my online ordering link, and this is actually for the Berry Hill store that's, that's open here in the next couple of weeks. I converted that to a tiny URL. Uh, the URL, when you get it from, uh, um, from Zoikos, is actually kind of long, but there's a website that you can go to, and we can talk to you more about that at the hands-on booth, how to shrink it down and make it fit into that 134 characters a little easier. Okay, so when you're reviewing this, make sure it's all right. If it's a, 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 a time special, limited offer special, make sure that you have an expiration date in there. Um, and of course, make sure Simple Simons is spelled correctly or Cheesy's is spelled correctly and uh, uh, your phone number is in there accurately. And it's just as easy as that. You finish it and it's posted and it's getting sent out. So very simple process. Like I said, I, I take care of all my stores 15, 20 minutes a week and I send out multiple messages um, every single week to reach my customers. Okay, so now I want to show you what, your, what the customers actually see. So guys, if you already subscribed to the, uh, the Calzone text uh, keyword, pull out your phones, we'll give you permission to play with your phone during class, um, and you can pull up that message. You'll see the link right there. Um, all you have to do is click on the link, and you can see our online order. Now, if you had, not had an opportunity to uh, place an online order at our uh, hands-on booth, go ahead, feel free to do it now, guys. Um, any order that's coming through, you can accept, we can do it as a cash payment. Um, it's just going to our test system that we have over here at the, the uh, Zorkos booth. Um, real simple process, it's real convenient. And guys, when we're talking about selling pizzas to millennials, it's all about convenience, all right? Um, convenience is the name of the game, guys, and if you're gonna sell to uh, millennials, it's gonna be from a mobile device or a smartphone. So, thank you guys very much. Appreciate you coming today.